to the original Rainbow Six Siege. Today I am taking a look at the original game from the 2015 release. Uh, this is the vanilla game, and I managed to get my hands on this after a lot of research. Um, congrats to the uh, Rainbow Six throwback Discord modding community for being able to uh, find this original version and get it uh, available again. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for how you can get this version, but um, I uh, just wanted to show this off today because I've been playing this a little bit more recently and I think it's still pretty fun actually. Um, the Rainbow Six throwback modding community uh, was actually able to uh, create a small um, cheat for this game. Well, it's not a cheat exactly in that in any uh, sense because you can't use it in current Siege, and it really isn't cheating exactly. But because like it's not like aimbot or anything, but. It allows you to play uh, different matches and stuff offline. So, as you can see, I am in offline mode um, in this old version. Uh, so, I, right now, it's just me playing, but um, you actually can play with other people by using uh, VPNs. I typically use Radmin VPN. I'll, again, I'll put a link in the description down below the video for getting Radmin, which works pretty well. Um, it's both downloads for this game and, uh, Radmin are free, as well as, uh, what, uh, the modding tool called Rainbow Six Liberator, although the tool that allows me to do, uh, terrorist hunt on this game, uh, it, it, it can be seen as a false positive virus, uh, but it's actually pretty safe. I can confirm this because I've been running it on here for several months now, um, and I haven't had any issues with it, so, I mean, if you want to take uh, precautions, go ahead, and you don't have to download it, but then you can't play Terrorist Hunt. Anyways, um, let's have a look at some of the old operators. So as you can see, old main menu, uh, you got situations here, uh, Article 5 is locked because it's offline, but you can still play that if you have Liberator. Um, multiplayer, terrorist hunt, which is locked because you're offline, but if you have Rainbow Six Liberator, you can definitely play that. Uh, old style, t well, tutorials, which are in the learning area now in current Siege. You play, um, also known as Ubisoft Connect for today, and then, uh, you have a proper main menu with this. And then with the operators, it was the o originally the, uh, only 10 operators available on both sides, so attackers and defenders. Uh, and then there was Recruit, of course, if you remember that. If you're an old uh, Siege player from back like in the beta, you had um, each uh, Recruit had the ability to select from the different uh, counter-terrorist units, so Spetsnaz, uh, Gigan, FBI, um, pol I'm probably going to screw that word up, Polizzi, which is the German um, counter-terrorist unit, and then the uh, Special Air Services, so this was uh, definitely a pretty good time in um, Siege history, because the game was just starting out and it hadn't been turned into a esports uh, based game yet, and of course, Lord Tachanka, how's it going there? <laughs> oh man, the meme, the myth, the legend, well, not really the legend, because he was the, hands down, the game's worst operator carrying a mounted LMG, but he was definitely the meme, game's meme lord back then. He still kind of is now, but he's definitely one of the, uh, uh, he's, he's still a meme operator today, but he's still, uh, loved by fans and known as the Lord Tachanka, so I actually happened to main him. Uh, launching Shumika, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
welcome. This is, uh, you may, you, if you're a toxic player, well, I mean, not overly toxic, but if you like spawn peeking, you will definitely remember the, um, Bandit and Jaeger ACOGs. Glad those were done away with. Because <laughs> they never really fit the, um, uh, defender side, because it just didn't really make sense for a one-armor operator to be equipped with these, especially when no other operators except for uh, Rook and Doc had access to these uh, scopes on their weapons. And i uh, glad these were removed. <laughs> Made the game a lot more balanced. Ash, on the other hand, though, I tend to disagree with. Every attacker back in uh, Old Siege had access to the ACOG uh, for long-range distances. That's my personal uh, preferred playstyle. Um, the Russians had access to the... I think it's called the um, PKAS site in uh, currency, or in real life. Um, not to, to be confused with an ACOG that was... Uh, named wrong, unfortunately. They actually did screw this model up a little bit for some reason. It must have been an accident, I don't know how they changed it so much, but... Uh, yeah, and then you have, um... Back when uh, Ballistic Shields were still kind of the meta, or a meta, I mean, I didn't play Siege back during this time, I started back during Void Edge in uh, 2020, Year 5 Season 1. I mean, so... And then, of course, you had the old maps and stuff, so... Anyways, just to relive some old uh, Siege memories, I am going to go ahead and play Terrorist Hunt today on the old Hereford base map. And not just situations, but the actual Terrorist Hunt. So we're going to go to multiplayer, and then um, this is the only way to play it, but uh, you'll notice Casual Mode, uh, which is now known as uh, Quick Play. Uh, and then you have Ranked, of course. Um, I don't know if it actually ranked you back in the day, but um, they do have unranked now, of course, and then uh, the um, deathmatch mode, which I'm a pretty large fan of because you can just play to your heart's content in something different in Siege if you get tired of uh, training grounds slash current day terrorist hunt or uh, multiplayer. Anyways, I'm going to do a custom game since that's obviously unlocked. Um, and then uh, you'll notice that online is locked. You can still do local, however. And um, if you use a VPN, you can actually, um, and if you're on the same network in the VPN as a friend, uh, you just give them your code and password to join. You can, uh, you will be able to join the um, server. So I went ahead and created a playlist. Um, note that it says Hereford Base in Team Deathmatch Hostage. Uh, I actually went th through and, um, Lib Rainbow Six Liberator, which is an external tool, overrides that. So, uh, I have it set to Elimination, uh, Hard Mode in Hereford Base. And Elimination was known as Terrorist Hunt Classic back in the day, so, um, it may not look like at first that I can switch team or uh, that there is enemy any enemy team. I mean, this is just the normal player versus player setup here for the um, custom game. Uh, and if I switch teams, I can do that. Note that if you're um, running Liberator and you have terrorist hunt selected, you have to be on the blue team. If you go on the orange team, it will set you up. And uh, on the team with the white masks, which are the terrorists in this game, if you remember. Um, and it will crash your game when it loads in, because players are not able to play terrorists in this game. Because of, uh, from what I've heard, Tom Clancy, when he signed a contract with Ubisoft, he made it so that players were not eligible to play as terrorists. Unlike in CSGO and counter, well, other Counter-Strike games. I mean, it's probably for the best, since, you know, this is a game about counterterrorism. So, not to be confused with the training lessons that the operators have in normal PvP. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, that didn't work. 
One minute, I'll be right back. Well, that was trash. Um, anyways, I've gone ahead and reset. Um, let's try this one more time. Okay, um, so this should work. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, Blue Team Custom Game Terrorist Hunt Classic. There we go. Liberator must have been... I must have accidentally closed Liberator earlier because I had to reopen it, so... Anyways, um, attackers. I'm going to pick Fuse since I'm a Fuse main. And yes, I know it's a bit controversial playing a Russian operator with, with the Ukraine situation going on. Um, I support Ukraine. I do not support Putin or... The people that support Putin in Russia. I wish Ukraine the best of luck with the ongoing war and send my condolences to them. Anyways, here we go. Uh, as you'll notice, old dark graphics. Um, quick lean. Old siege. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and Oh yeah, also the old style heads-up display, the uh, new uh, heads-up display could have been a little better, I mean it's not terrible, but yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top of this map. Going up. Set breach charge. Of course, can't hear anything yet. Oh, did you see that blue light there? I'm sure to see it in a Whoop. There's your bomber. Wow. Yeah, for those of you who uh, didn't know, Rainbow Six Siege used to have suicide bombers. That was one of them. Bomber. And here comes another bomber. These guys are an instant kill, basically, but they're funny as hell. Um... I'm with you. Already took care of that guy. Alright, let's add a cluster charge here. Oh, come on. They come out from out. They come from. Oh crap! Uh, still got 22 bullets left. Okay, let's reload. Yeah, this side is quite a lot better than the current one. Uh, footsteps. Here, but just some barbed wire. Let's check over here. Actually, have done realistic mode on this a few times, but it's definitely hard. Ah, this lights in here make it hard to see. Here's your, uh, bomber. Just stay far away from them and you'll probably be fine. Whoa. Make sure, uh, guys don't sneak up behind you like they did to me there. Oh, 
here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played this, so... These darker graphics make it a little bit harder to see. Well, I got close enough, so... I really just wanted to show this off a little bit. Yeah, it's rather quite fun to play this on your own, actually, so... Or if you have a bunch of friends, you can bump it up to hard mode. Because this allows you to play with five, pe or, uh, five people in a squad, including yourself, so... But uh, yeah, that's old Rainbow Six Siege for you. Um, Rainbow Six Liberator allows for a lot more options, including co-op. Uh, again, uh, congrats to the uh, Rainbow Six throwback modding community. Uh, you can find them on Discord. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below, as I said earlier. And, the video and have a good day.